All right, welcome back. So what did we learn in the last session? We learned about how to use notes.txt. We added a bunch of customized message which you want to be printed onto the screen when somebody is running Helm deployment, all right? Uh, whole idea is to let user know how to run or uh, broadcast some of the important information about your deployment. And this was not absolutely possible with kubectl apply hyphen f blah blah. All right. Did you notice we've covered everything? We've covered values.yaml, we've covered charts.yaml, uh, we've covered the namespace as well. There's something called as hiding right over here, helpers.tpl. What does it do? Any idea, any guesses? What does helper.tpl? What is tpl? tpl is template. As the name suggests, it is a named template which means you can define values or configuration inside the template and that template can be reused again and again uh, by namespace, services, deployment, any of the manifest. So when defining the naming templates, template names are global. If you kind of declare two templates with the same name, whichever one is loaded last will be the one used because templates and subcharts are combined together um, we're with top level. We're going to understand all about it. Uh, but what do we care about is you start defining the common parameters inside helpers as a template. And then you start, you can start using the same file and call it elsewhere in the Kubernetes manifest examples. Any example you could think of. Let me give you a right quick example labels now labels could be something which can be used again and again by the same uh, uh, resources now this could be your uh, team name you could be your billing information it could be your uh, what client you are working for it could be environment details these are common right which needs to be mapped with deployment which needs to be mapped with namespaces ports services everything Let's suppose I want to add a new label right over here. Now label could be uh, who created it? Who is the owner of these charts? What time it was created? And this would remain common for every resources, namespaces, deployment, pods. How do you do that? Open the helpers.template, TPL is template, just remember that, all right? How do you start defining it? You start defining right over here closed and open braces hyphen define you start defining the name first all right my charts dot labels I'm picking the very basic example which is available in the helm documentation as well all right then you start defining what is this is the name which you have defined and then you start defining what is that common configuration you want to attach with every resource could be labels. All right. Now the first one would be probably generator. Again, a basic, very basic example. Generator is Helm deployed by my name, Sean. What else? Maybe a function, a date function. Helm has got a lot of function. All right. Open basis, curly braces, close and open now what is the time right now and put as an html date don't worry about this is these functions are available all right so this is once that is done what do you do is you end it all right how do you do that open basis and closed hyphen end and that's about it i hope i haven't made any uh, typos uh, so if how do you attach it with the namespace you go to the namespace and once you've done that let's suppose i want to add a new tag right over here okay i open the curly braces and close it and then this is a template right this is a template tpl is template remember and then give the name what is the name we have given the name is my charts dot labels all right come back into your namespace inside the curly braces uh, inside the quotes you define the name of your template that's about it so if we try to describe our 
namespace we should have uh, only these five labels available which we have already defined right over here right name new name new label and uh, followed by the other two also we haven't got these labels defined yet how do we deploy it the the steps are pretty simple all right and what i'm going to do is do a helm upgrade name of my release dot and that's about it now if i do a describe ns you would see that there are a bunch of new guests are available what are these names labels date date was this with data there's a typo data is uh, today's date deployed by my name generator is helm and yeah that's about it these are the only three labels which were defined now you can start binding uh, these label these common labels with every resources could be port namespaces services and whatnot all right that's about it i hope this was informative go ahead and start implementing on your existing project as well covered pretty basic stuff right so that we're kind of clear on what we are doing the whole idea of covering these basics are so that you're familiarized with the concepts and then we can get on the advanced stuff. i hope this was informative thank you